Welcome back to episode 15. Before we begin, I want to thank my new subscribers. I'm going to put them on the screen here now. Thank you for subscribing and welcome to the conversation. Today, I have a fun story for you. This fun story dates back a decade ago at North Point while I was doing my postgrad in marketing, media and communications. Mr. Premjit Sodi, the president of Lintas Media Group at the time, was conducting a workshop and he shared this beautiful story with us. A lesson in empathy and curiosity. Here's how the story goes. And I'm going to try and paraphrase. Hopefully I get this right. Mr. Premjeet, if you're watching this and I screwed up, please let me know in the comments below, but I'm going to try to be as accurate with my memory as possible. Premjeet told us about the time when he was doing his MBA. When Mr. Premjeet Sodi was in B school, the professor gave the class an assignment. They paired the different students in groups and pairs and the professor gave them a simple task. There is a poor villager in the middle of the desert in Rajasthan, India. He lives in a very old hut and the farmer with little to no resources makes very little money to sustain himself. As a group of MBA students in that class, what is your strategy to help that poor farmer? So the teams got together in groups, huddled together, made a lot of plans. There were a lot of back and forth going on. You could hear cheers. So the different teams at the end of the day presented ideas on the lines of let's give the farmer some funds through the government. Let's get him a tractor, get him some cows. Let's also give the farmer some more land and also educate him on how he can become a better farmer. And so on and on the class went with their different ideas. <laughs> this is where it gets super interesting. The professor paused the students and asked them only one simple question. Did anybody bother to ask what the farmer wants? Mind blown. This is the perfect story to illustrate a class in curiosity over conclusions and empathy. That at any point somebody presents a question or a problem before jumping into the solution, get curious, get empathetic. That lesson has stayed with me in my bones, in my blood, in my DNA. It is such a simple and powerful story to teach you something so fundamental. You can put all these fancy labels of design thinking, user experience. It all boils down to curiosity over conclusions and being empathetic. That's it. That is my story for today. By the way, if you're enjoying this content, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and let me know that I'm on the right path. If you have objections, questions, Drop them in the comments below and I will be happy to address them. Let's read a tweet before we end today's video. By the way, thank you, Mr. Premjit Sodi, for sharing that story. Love it. By the way, Mr. Premjit Sodi is on Twitter. I will put the link in the description below. Be sure to follow him on Twitter and let him know that I sent you. The secret is to stay persistent even during the inevitable moments of self-doubt. The one thing that most of us get wrong is that when we see people at the top, people who are the best at their game, athletes, actors, you name it, they also get self-doubt, but they choose to proceed and do that thing anyways. Let fear be your guide. That was a very Tony Robbins kind of an end. I will see you tomorrow.